Hi there. And hello, ladies and gentlemen. We almost go in NLP since we already kind of know such thing as talking, word, text, and so on. So we are ready to pass our initialization in NLP with our first challenge, tokenization. Uh, in general, tokenization is the process uh, that just basically divide the text onto the token. So an input that has text and output is supposed to provide list or array or whatever of the tokens. Sounds straightforward, right? So what could be simpler? We have a text and we have tokens. So let's split it because when I, human, actually reading the text, it uh, looks like super easy to divide it to tokens. So what could go wrong here? Yeah? Uh, well, yes, kind of. Let's start with a real life example. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to switch to the Python notebook when, where I will show you actually why even such a simple thing as tokenization actually not as simple as you might thought. Okay, so this is a simple notebook and you can basically download it from the links uh, above my video. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Even if you're not familiar with the Python, you should more or less understand what's happening here. So first section is imports, it's, uh, it's kind of simple. Then we creating the constant. I'm using only one constant Bible file name because I'm going to use all Bible, because why not? Um, okay, I'm reading the whole text from the file into the variable txt, so this is just a boilerplate, but I don't want to ignore anything, uh, so you will know how I'm reading and what I'm doing here. And let's actually try to tokenize the text. So we have this huge text in memory, and let's basically print the first 500 characters of the text. This is basically just the default boilerplate from the Gutenberg uh, ebook project, so we actually don't see any Bible text so far, it's just the boilerplate from the project. But it's okay, it's good enough to uh, show what we're going to do and how we're going to achieve. So how we're going to tokenize the, the text. You guys uh, have more or less understanding what is tokenization, but again, the question, how we're going to tokenize it. And one may suggest a really simple approach. Let's split the text by space. So why not? Let's actually execute the next snippet of the code where we're going to split our t txt by the space. And then we're going to uh, to print first 100 tokens and join them with new line and quota marks before and after. So let's see what's going to happen. And basically the result will be like this. And okay, what we can see here. First of all, we can see these tokens. We, this is obviously not a token, it's actually two tokens at the same time. Uh, even this example, I'm, I'm going to scroll down uh, after just a moment, but even this example can show to you that this naive tokenization by space is not working, is not good enough. But let's actually scroll and see what is going on there. Okay, this looks good. Again, we have this with almost, with new lines. So this is uh, our tokenization algorithm saying that this is one token, and it's obvious it's not. Then you can see a lot of stuff like dot. Dot is not a part of the token whatsoever, but it's actually in our tokenization it's one token. So we have empty line, which again is incorrect. We have comma. Uh, we have, again, this example of issues. Okay, so and yes, examples like these, like this token. So yeah, I, I, I think you got the idea that this naive tokenization by space is not working, is not good enough. It's actually boils down to the question, what do you expect and what is your uh, quality that you want and need? But if we're designing state of the art of the system, you can see that just uh, space is not working. So the one might uh, come with the idea of using regular expression. And if you're not familiar with what is regular expression, I strongly advise you to pause the video here 
and to look on the awesome, really awesome and nice videos uh, from the Stanford course, link will be, uh, I'm going to provide uh, in the comments and the, uh, for, for this uh, video in the description. So please just pause, go there, uh, look for what is a regular expression, then you can continue watching because we're going to use, uh, at least for some time, regular expression um, pretty aggressive. So in our case, uh, I just prepare this simple, simple regular expression, which basically states that if you have any sequence of space or new lines, um, use it for split the text. And again, I'm going to print first 100 tokens. So let me start this, um, uh, cute this snippet of the code. And the result might look better, slightly better. We don't have new lines, but we still have like commas. We still have a dots. We still have some other stuff that is going on like uh, these. And the problem here that um, even if you're going to try and put all these special characters like semicolon, like comma, dot, and blah, 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 inside of your regular expression uh, to split by them, you will have a couple problems. Problem number one, you're basically going to lose this information at all. Uh, you're not going to present it in any way because if you're going to split by the regular expression, it will basically delete all the characters that you are splitting by. This is problem number one. Problem, problem number Number two, uh, so let's say you're trying to split by quote, quote mark, yes, and even in Unicode you might find a lot of characters that represent uh, quote, and all of them might be in the text, and even more. Uh, if you're using uh, optical character recognition, yes, you have an analog book, you're scanning the book, then you're doing optical character recognition, algorithm might use some really weird um, Unicode characters that look similar to dot, comma, or quote, or something like this, but it's absolutely not a uh, comma, not a quote, and stuff like this. And then, you again, you, you your, your regular expression will meet the special character, and yeah, we'll do some strange stuff. Okay, so... And then you even have such example like man's or star star in this strange word or and this should not be avoided at all because this is a part of the token so you should not split by it because then your tokenization algorithm will have a problem or this Gutenberg website uh, and actually this is a question if this is a one token or three token that should be divided by dot. So all these problems that you will have by splitting the regular expression. Nevertheless, this simple naive approach is actually aggressively use, uh, used by a simple program, really simple algorithm, because it's fast, it's reliable, it's always predictable, you can see and you can predict result you will get from text, and if you have simple text, if you uh, don't care about state-of-the-art system, it still might be usable, and uh, again, it's used aggressively in the real simple programs. Uh, and actually, this example should give you some basic understanding of uh, the whole idea how mostly all of the NLP algorithm that we will see on this course on different other courses are actually working. So to solve problem, it basically has the method solve problem, not the method, but it, uh, any algorithm that's solving the problem expect in the input algorithm itself uh, model and input to the algorithm. Model is basically some knowledge that's going to help uh, the algorithm to solve the task. And it supplies algorithm to the model and input to the algorithm. In our particular case and example that we just saw, algorithm is basically algorithm that split the text by the regular expression when the model is actual, uh, actually regular expression itself and the input is text. So as you can see when I'm calling this solve problem and printing the result, it will print the same that we had in a slightly different way, but anyway. so. What I want you to know from this uh, lesson is almost all uh, algorithm relies on the model. 
and quality of the algorithm uh, actually depends on the model. So usually you speak about quality of the model. Even in this simple example we have the same algorithm but by tuning the model, by providing different regular expression you will have different quality of the result, quality of the output. And usually if you're using even like super popular framework, they're doing NLP, everything boils down to the model. Usually model are language specific because different language might use different approach. For instance, some of the languages do not use space between tokens at all. So you can't use model that uses space and splitting uh, text by spaces at all because it will not work with some of the languages. So usually model are language specific and quality that you have uh, depends on the quality of your model. Uh, and not uh, the algorithm. Uh, sometimes like super algorithm might show you really uh, bad results uh, because of the model that you're using. And actually by creating really good model you can earn a lot of money by just selling models that you uh, develop for Thomas algorithm. But anyway, in this lesson we uh, spoke about uh, the way how all the algorithm actually works, what is the model, I hope now you guys will understand what is algorithm, what the model, and we had some example of tokenization, like super naive tokenization by regular expression. And in the next video I'm going to talk how to do this in Java with IE framework, if you do need uh, this naive approach. And we will also speak about first actual task that you guys might want to take and actually to implement, to participate in order to improve quality of this naive tokenization. So stay tuned because next lesson we will see um, real example with real framework and even more I will show you a real possibility to improve the framework by your bare hands. So thank you and see you next time in next video. Bye!